Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a look at the four daily challenges. Challenge one today then is at the Dry Town Desert Circuit. And we're going to use automatic gears and these difficulty settings for all four challenges. And these are the tuning settings that we're going to use for this first challenge. So we're in the buggy, five lap race, just eight of us. I wonder if I can get up the inside here. Can I sneak right up? Oh, that's a great start. <laughs> Straight into the lead, right after the first corner. Yeah, just the fact I was on the inside on the grid there, I thought I might as well just go for it up the inside. Straight into the lead. So, is it going to be uh, a simple fact of racing round for the first win, or are we going to have some uh, some interesting incidents before the end? Still a couple of vehicles fairly close behind me, starting to string the field out already, but there's a couple of couple of chasers. Taking that slightly wide, but not too bad. Yeah, there's the chasing bunch then. Pulled a reasonable lead. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice track to race on this one. Obviously you've got the little tarmac sections, you've got the dirt sections as well. It's not overly bumpy, there's a few... Uh, elevations but uh, and of course you've got the uh, the real tight corners either end as well just have to watch I sometimes get caught out there's uh, there's the tires and barriers and that on the inside of some of these corners that and some of them are quite blind so uh, start a lap three then still those chasing couple of cars are fairly close behind I've not just zoomed off into the distance. Yeah, as I was saying, good good track though this one. Really enjoy it, and uh, it's quite strange that I hadn't we hadn't uh, had many daily challenges on this track. I didn't think, but this is now the second one we've had within a couple of weeks. I think there goes the uh, jumbo jet overhead. We've obviously passed that one bat marker already. You must have. Uh, had a few struggles coming around now to the start of the fourth lap. Two laps to go then. Yeah, the chasing AI have done a pretty good job actually of uh, hanging on. Like I say, I managed to get up into the lead quite easily, but uh, after that, I've slowly been pulling away, I think, but not uh, not zooming ahead. Probably a good thing I did get into the lead so early. If I'd have had a bad start, yeah, I might have, uh, I maybe might have struggled to uh, to overtake. Back marker just in the distance there. Don't know if we're going to catch up with them before the end. Just one lap to go now. Ooh, got that slightly sideways. Just got to make sure I don't make any silly mistakes now. Like I say, not turn in too early and hit one of those tyres on the inside because they don't move and also check that back marker doesn't get in the way looks like they're not going to I'm probably not even going to catch them before the end Whoop and saying that yes I am <laughs> they've just swerved off nearly overcooked it myself as well but uh, just got inside them before they reverse back into the onto the track and in front of me okay I think we're good through we come then for a win and a gold trophy in the first challenge of the day On to challenge two then, and we're at the Big Valley Speedway. In the sofa cart, so this might be tough. These are the tuning settings I'm using. Tried to set the tuning settings as much as I could for as much stability in this sofa car. Obviously that's the uh, that's the key thing you need in when driving this sofa car. It's uh, not the most stable car. Whoa, bit of a bad start there. Luckily didn't get thrown out of the, uh, out of the vehicle. 24 of us in the race, 8 laps around here. Need to try and make as few mistakes as possible here. Obviously, you can lose a lot of time every time you crash, you'll get thrown out. Starting to make good progress now. Can we slip up the inside of this one as well? 1, 2, 3, 4, 
far yeah I can just about see all the leaders ahead of me leader has pulled slightly ahead but hopefully not too far guessing that is them in the sofa car in fact I hope it is otherwise <laughs> there's a uh, quite a big gap forward yes it was that was the leader so we're up into the lead now already starting to uh, catch up with the bat markers just gotta watch try not to catch it on the inside and likewise don't run wide into the outside and of course now we're coming into the bat markers as well I need to watch for any of those that are crashing no gap there I was gonna sneak up the inside but the gap disappeared now we've got the gap again can we get up the inside of these couple in this corner obviously not exactly sure where second place is but I think it's uh, I think looking at the map we can see the bat markers that we're in amongst and then I think the gap back to the next group there I think that's the second place so we've got a pretty good lead but obviously uh, probably just one mistake would be enough for them to catch up okay two laps to go then Ooh, there's one knocked off oh that was lucky that uh, dodge jump without a driver was just running across the middle of the track and fortunately the vehicle outside me hit it rather than me okay last lap then just got to keep it safe probably this inside is the safest place to be don't want to uh, get hung out wide and then slammed into the barriers on the outside through we come then for a win and a second gold trophy Challenge 3 is a score streak at the Glendale countryside. We're going to be in the road cutter here and I'm going to use these tuning settings. Okay, 4 minutes here, 8,000 points for the Gold Trophy and the normal backward start for score streaks at this arena. Can I reset quickly and go back in again? Get a few more hits while some of those are still coming out okay four minutes reasonable amount of time eight thousand points of course is the high total so uh... yeah i probably need to get a crack on here and uh... although this isn't the worst arena it is uh... it's very obviously it's a very large area so it can be difficult to uh... to string the hits together quickly to build up that score multiplier doing a good job at the moment though Obviously, it's not too bad an arena, and there's no uh, there's no bumps or jumps or ramps or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's just the size of the arena that can make it difficult. Just gotta try and get the hits, chain them together, and I always try and as I'm hitting one vehicle, I always attempt to then start steering towards where I think my next hit is going to come from. So if we chase this one, I'm going to start turning in ready to hopefully hit my next one still really building up that score multiplier well at the moment so we're picking points up fast at the moment I've got to take advantage of this while we're uh, in that good position there's the silver trophy already and we've still got two minutes thirty left 154 damage so it's probably a good chance actually we might have to respawn before the end so if I can get on my points I'm nearly at the gold trophy already though one more hit quickly now oh that didn't count did it no need a slightly harder one that'll do there's the gold trophy we've still got well over two minutes left well I thought that was going to be uh, possibly a tricky one but uh, I think we did a, a really good job of chaining hits together we'll put over five times score multiplier and obviously that makes things so much easier if uh, if you're getting big hits we could be on for a really good score here actually score multiplier up over six times now it's not dropped at all yet obviously the front end of my car and my car in general is in a pretty bad state so I'm starting to have having to hit the other cars harder and harder to uh, to make them count damn missed that one 
that's I think that's possibly the first time the score multiplier's dropped. The first time I've noticed anyway. We've managed to save it actually before it dropped totally. Alright, let's turn back in. Probably one more big hit. Certainly one more big hit on us and we're gonna be wrecked. There we go. Okay, gonna have to respawn. Of course that means we lose the score multiplier as well. But uh, really good score by the look of it. This is gonna be still a minute left as well. This is going to give us a clean sweep of gold trophies going into the last challenge of the of the day as well. So, chance of getting four out of four. Hope if you watch my uh, 300th daily challenge video that came out a few days ago, you enjoyed that one. It's a uh, I certainly enjoyed making it. It was uh, it was good fun, especially having the 10 second handicap on all the challenges and the uh, that in car in car view as well. Really does make for some uh, exciting action. Okay, last few seconds. See if we can get a few more hits. It's, it certainly is a, a big score. I think we've got here. Damn, just got knocked sideways there. I was hoping to uh, get that hit and then drive straight forward into the next one as well oh we're over that's probably a good time to finish gold trophy and a big total of 22,519 fourth and final change of the day is at the Espedalan Raceway we're in Bugzilla and these are the tuning settings I'm going to use. Okay, five laps round, round here. Drop the suspension right right down. Of course you don't need a, this is such a high vehicle anyway, you don't you don't need any more uh, height at all on this thing, so better off with the uh, stability and obviously the grip for this track as well. Up into sixth place already, pretty good start then. It's uh, it's quite a tricky start to the uh, to this race coming around this direction, having to go through that chicane section. But we've uh, obviously in the Bugzilla we can uh, push our way through a lot easier than some of the cars right behind the front two here. Oh, and they've <laughs> they've just opened up and let me drive straight through the middle. That was really kind of them. Oh, one sneak back up the inside, so not quite in first pace as we cross the line. But we're on the side we want to be for this chicane. Another one sneak past. Just about in first place then. Gonna swing it down here. Down this fast straight and then you just gotta get the breaking point right for this really tight corner. I've had a couple of uh, couple of attempts at the break there, but better to do that than run wide. Because of course there's the uh the there's the concrete barriers straight ahead of you if you uh, if you do break too late there. So it's always worth uh, braking slightly earlier, I find, especially, of course, if you're in Bugzilla and the other vehicles are normal cars, because they're uh, less likely to uh, to get pushed or spun by cars running into the back of you. Starting to build a little bit of a lead now. There's a couple of chasing cars, I think, still fairly close, but, uh, yeah, really stringing the rest of the field out now. Nothing on the map that I can see in terms of bat markers, so we might be okay through to the end because we've only got a couple of laps to go now. Just got to watch this chicane section. Number of times I've messed that up and turned into early and caught the uh, caught the barrier on the right hand side. bit of a group of cars coming up I might catch up with them before the end of the next lap maybe yeah still two chasing cars by the look of the map and I think I've I'm holding them comfortably but if I did make one silly mistake they would be on me not couldn't quite see them there as I look back down the straight okay last lap then and here are the back markers so just got to get through these as cleanly as I can again obviously in Bugzilla I can uh, use my weight advantage and push through them if needed 
down into this tight left hand corner for the last time just watch I don't catch the barrier on the inside spin that one round and we're through into a nice gap now should be able to bring it home from here and over we come then for a win and a gold trophy in the final challenge of the day Well, that's the end of the daily challenges for today then. And we've managed to get a clean sweep of gold trophies, three really good races, and then the, the score streak at the Glendale where we managed to get a really good score. Best of luck for all your attempts. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, and see you soon.